So we've heard him speak for years now. In fact, to be honest with you, we're just waiting for him to work tonight in the game against yes, the Red Sox right. in Toronto. Now Jerry Remy is putting his stories into a board. I had a chance to sit down with Jerry today at Fenway to talk about his book that he wrote with the late great Nick Cafardo, of course, of the Boston Globe, mm -hmm. If These Walls Could Talk. It's so hard to write this. My son, Jared, brutally murdered his fiancee, Jennifer Martell, on August 15th, 2013. The worst day of my life. Uh, always will be the worst day of my life. Uh, ruined two families. Uh, took the life of a beautiful, beautiful young lady who all, all she wanted was the best for her, her, her daughter. Um, very, very hard. You've really seen more things than most people. I've seen a lot. And experienced. Yeah, I've seen a lot. Some pretty horrible things. You're correct. And you're very candid in the book about all of those things. The depression was very difficult. The first time I got it, I um, started to have panic attacks. I was on a road trip in Cleveland, and I never had a panic attack in my life. You didn't I, even know what it was. I didn't know what it was. I thought I was having a heart attack. I was leaving the Red Sox clubhouse, going back up to the booth, and all of a sudden my heart started pounding, and I started sweating, and I was near an elevator. And I sprinted off the elevator, ran back into the Red Sox clubhouse, and uh, asked him to check me out. So they brought the doctor over from the, the Cleveland Indian doctor and he says, oh, he says, you're just having a panic attack. I said, panic attack? I've never had a panic attack. But it was horrifying. And to the fans? They've thrown an awful lot of love my, my way yeah. throughout the years. Sometimes I wonder why, but yeah, I truly appreciate it.